Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000. And today I've got three autographs through the mail, TTMs. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a quick update on how I'm ranking on the trading card database. Our first return is from, no, let's see, it is from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. And we have Mr. Buddy Groom. He signed six of six in nine days. He had a career record of 31 and 32 with a 4.64 ERA. He pitched 14 years, appeared in 786 games. He played from 92 to 2005. He played with Detroit, Florida, Oakland, Baltimore, New York, Yankees, and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, his 786 appearance, appearances ranks 35th all-time, and he actually holds the MLB record for most games pitched without ever having an at without ever having an at bat. That is Buddy Groom, and I sent him three of those and three of those. That's the only ones I had, so that's why. And now I have no more Buddy Grooms to send. <laughs> and our second return is from Santa Ana, California. And we have the mustache man, Dennis Lamp. He signed six of six in 12 days. He had a career record of 96 and 96 with 3.93 ERA. He played 16 years, appeared in 639 games. He played from 1977 to 1992. He played with the Cubs, White Sox, Blue Jays, A's, Red Sox, and Pirates. And he, he is the man who gave up Lou Brock's 3,000th hit. And he is also the pitcher that Cal Ripken got his first Major League Baseball hit off. And that is Dennis Lamp. And then our final return has no postmark, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in North Carolina. And we have Frank Sweet Music Viola. He signed two of two in nine days. He is a five dollar um, per. He is a five dollar fee per. He had a career record of 176 and 150. Um, ERA 3.73. He pitched 15 years, appeared in 421 games. He played from 82 to 96. He played with Minnesota, the Mets, Red Sox, Reds, and Blue Jays. He's a three-time All-Star. He was an All-Star in 88, 90, and 91. He won the Cy Young in 1988 with a 24 and seven record. He was the MVP in 1987 World Series when the Twins won the World Series. And he is also in the Twins Hall of Fame. And an interesting thing about oh, Mr. Fry Viola here is he pitched 15 years. Eight of those years, he had a losing record. Or eight of those years, he only had, he only had a uh, winning record eight of those years. So... Because I thought, when I looked and I saw his record was 176 to 150, I was kind of surprised. I thought he had a much better record than that. Um, in the past week, I have I've added some cards to my PC. Um, Brady Anderson, I added about 19 cards, I believe. I now um, have 269 different cards of his. And I am ranked number five on the trading, trading card data, database for him. Ben McDonald, I added a few more. I'm now number six on that, on him, with a total of 146 cards. Ken Gerhardt, I'm number nine with 19 cards. And Gary Renicky, I'm moving up the ladder a little bit. I've got 25 cards of his now, and I'm ranked number 59 for him. And then last but not least, Frank Sullivan. I am number 52 with six cards for him. 
And also I just wanna let you guys know that the last two and a half days, um, I was not getting any notifications from YouTube. So whenever somebody left a comment or somebody liked a video, new subscriber, anybody posted a new video, I didn't get any of those notifications. So if you posted anything to me or you posted a video in the last three days, I probably did not see it. Um, I think YouTube has fixed it now because I, I, have got, I have gotten a few notifications today. So hopefully it's cleared up. Um, if, and if I've missed anything from you guys in the last few days, I'm sorry. And if there's something out there that I really, really need to see, please let me know and I'll check it out. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.